starting another recording. Um, so I would like to clarify one thing um, here. This is our program and this is the operating system. So now the timer is running and the operating system knows when the clock ticks, it goes ahead and every second uh, notifies us. I can modify our ti timer timeout thing, right? Uh, I can uh, m modify our timer timeout uh, setting and I can be mo notified more often or you know once an hour or once every 10 minutes, right? Okay, so I'm in control of like what uh, what this timeout it really does. Now, one clarification. I don't want you to get an impression that we have this. Remember, our program con once started, it is constantly in this loop to process events, button clicks, uh, minimize, maximize, resize window, anything else that you can think of scroll bar is being used everything is actually handled inside the component that the library compiles into our code is everything is happens here inside this code now so you may think or it may give you an impression that we have this loop and when the timer kicks in we get completely separate notification from this loop not true if you read the documentation for the timer implementation, it is not like this is a parallel execution. What happens here is that the operating system deposits this event into this loop. The loop stops. And then this event is processed by our timer event thing. And when we get out of this function and say, OK, we're done, then inside here, the loop will go on, OK? So, for example, for example, right, we can test if in this timer event, I create like an endless loop, right? I, I will do something horrible like this forever, right? Forever do nothing, right? This kind of like an empty loop with do nothing. So once the timer event catches, ca uh, is caught, just, you know, I'm never going to get out. I'm just, go just go going to stay here forever. Let's take a look, right? So I, I build this, and um, if I run it, uh, oh yeah, it's still running, so I need to close it. Build, so build this, kind of meaningless and horrific uh, uh, thing to do, but let's test it. So everything's okay, I can say stop, I can move around, and I can say start. So once I say start, I never even print anything. Look what happens. I can no longer move my window. I cannot minimize it. I, it says not responding because I'm completely kill. I completely destroyed this loop in my timer. I caught this clock event and I went to endless loop and everything is frozen. All right. So just to clarify that this is not the timer. This particular implementation of timer is not uh, again is not a. Um, uh, parallel execution. I'm not giving a separate thread of execution. I can do that by asking the operating system to actually give me a separate thread of execution, start that separate thread of execution, and truly implement some parallel programming there, you know, do, using parallel threads. But this case, look, I can, I can no longer, well, I can still minimize it, I guess the operating system handles that. But my buttons obviously don't work anymore. I guess <clears throat> what's really suspended is everything inside here. See, see where is this uh, uh, this uh, 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 mouse uh, indicating waiting mode comes back. Operating system detects that the window has process has stopped processing events. It no longer processes any events. Right? So this is really a dead end for this application unless it somehow wakes up from this horrific you know, loop, which, it, which it's not going to, right? It's just, you know, this is it. it it's, it's completely dysfunctional. So an attempt to close it also doesn't work, all right? So this one, this time the operating system says, hey, uh, look at this. Uh, it's not responding. 
uh, I can assist you, I can close the program for you, or you can say, okay, I'll wait for this to come back somehow. So obviously, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to say, close the program, it's going to say it's not responding, blah, 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 blah. So there is only one way is to kill this application using task manager or whatever happens to, to the user interface. So interesting note that this is not a parallel execution. So it's basically a cooperative graphical user interface programming that we need to be aware of. So if you want to write a computer game and use some of this, you just have to be aware that timer takes away from the, 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 the main loop, right? So therefore, your timers do slow down everything else. So if in this loop you do something, some other computations, it better be quick. If you need to do something serious, which will take seconds to do, and you do this a lot of time, you have to do it somewhere in the background and ask the operating system for a separate thread of execution. Th not the topic of today's discussion. But I think it's interesting to, to talk about. All right, next fragment.